everyone. I'm Miss Kira and I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. Now this is our final week of talking about responsibility. And responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. Are you ready to find out about today's rule of life? It's a really important one that can be found in the book of Ephesians, which was written by the Apostle Paul. At first, Paul didn't believe in Jesus. In fact, he actually tried to stop people from believing in Jesus. But when Paul became a follower of Jesus himself, he spent the rest of his life teaching other Christians how to live in the way that God had intended them. He explained that the followers of God should use their words differently. Here's what Paul wrote to the Ephesians. You can find this verse in Ephesians 4 verse 29. Don't let any evil talk come out of your mouths. Say only what will help to build others up and meet their needs. Then what you say will help those who listen. Our words have a lot of power, maybe even more than we realize. That's why Paul thought it was so important for believers to use words that encourage and build one another up. We have the responsibility to choose words that help heal others. So let's make sure to choose our words wisely. And that's our rule for life today use your words wisely. When you speak wisely, other people will know that they can trust us. So this week, let's use our words to build others up. Think carefully before you speak. Don't be afraid to say sorry when you mess up. And be willing to forgive someone else when they mess up. With God's help, I believe that you can do it and I can do it. In fact, anyone can. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this really important reminder that we should use our words wisely. Help us be people who build others up and repair things by using kind and encouraging words. Sometimes that's really hard to do and we need your help. When we feel like saying something mean or angry, please remind us to stop and choose helpful words instead. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. Now before we go, I just wanna share another scripture with you guys and it is found in Psalm 95 verse two. We read this. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us give a loud shout to the rock who saves us. Let us come to him and give him thanks. Let us praise him with music and song. This moment we have together is a time to praise God and thank him for all that he has done. Everyone jump on your feet because it's time to sing our worship song. Let's get up and celebrate the best friend that we could ever find. <laughs> Turn away, you never leave my side And every time I call your name out just to find That you're already right here with me Never been alone I can trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start No matter what I'm facing I will trust you with my heart you with my heart There are days when I feel I need a friend And then I hear your voice reminding me again That you're already right here with me Never been alone I can trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start Trust you with my heart You are more than able To lead me through the dark Your love is never failing I will trust you with my heart Oh, I will trust you with my heart No matter what may come No matter what I go through God, you are Never gonna fail me I will trust you with my heart no matter what may come, no matter what I go through, God, you are Never gonna fail me, I will trust you with my heart You are always faithful, you love me from the start No matter what I'm facing, I will trust you with my heart You are more than able to lead me through the dark Your love is never failing, I will trust you with my heart
trust you with my heart. Hello! I need Ada! Did you understand that? I said, Hi! I'm Erica. How nice of you to join me today. This is such a fun game to play, and it's really funny. <laughs> Here's the rules you put this thing in your mouth, and then you say, Hey, and he are trying to guess what you say. People have to guess what you say. You try it. Today, you're talking about responsibility. So you can trust it if that is expected of you. Did you get that? Well, just in case, today we're talking about responsibility. Responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. I think you think we all think I think. Hazi, Lazi, Lazi, I am. Hazi, Lazi, had no hair. Hazi, Lazi, Lazi, Hazi, Lazi. Hey guys, I'm gonna clear up. Hello, Hazi, hey. Wow, it's really hard to communicate with that thing in your mouth. Could you understand anything I was saying? I never realized how important my words were until I had them taken away from me. Today's Bible story is all about how important words are and how we should use them. I think this will be a very important lesson for all of us to listen to. So, see you soon! Did you get it? Huh? Are you going? Huh? The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 29. There's an old saying you might have heard before. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Yeah, on the surface, that makes sense. I mean, you drop a heavy rock on my leg, I might end up with a big cast. But you yell at me, and I don't even get a scratch, right? Well, it's a little more complicated than that, as we're about to discover in the letter from the Apostle Paul to the church in Ephesus. Uh, let's see. What are the most important things they need to know? Paul had spent years teaching the church in Ephesus, but now he was in prison. So he wanted to remind the Ephesians what God had done for them and how it should change the way they treated each other, especially when it came to their words. Hmm. Don't let any evil talk come out of your mouths. Say only what will help to build others up and meet their needs. Then what you say will help those who listen. Your words are strong and powerful, they can make an incredible impact on the people around you, whether that's for good or not. Let's imagine what it might look like if we could actually see our words. You totally rocked it on the field today. Aw, oh, now those words were like a nice pat on the back. Words can be incredibly encouraging. Hey, I know you've been feeling kind of sad. I'm always here if you need someone to listen. Mmm, that was comforting. Just like a cozy blanket and warm cocoa. But we don't always use our wordy superpowers for good. Wow, did you even look in the mirror this morning? Ouch, oh, that burn. Things are getting messy here. <laughs> and if you get really angry, well, that's when your words can be real zingers. You are so mean, I wish you weren't my brother. Ooh, thoughtless words can shatter someone, break apart relationships. We all make mistakes with our words sometimes. We all end up hurting others with the things we say. But when that happens, sometimes we get a second chance to use our words wisely. I'm really, really sorry. That was an awful thing to say. Can you forgive me? Just like your words can hurt people and break relationships, 
Words can also be uh, the glue that puts them back together. Your words can actually bring healing. Think about it. Every single one of us has the power to make or break somebody else's day with just a few words. Whether you write it, speak it, type it, or shape it, your words are an incredible tool. You may not have the money to buy somebody an expensive gift, but the note you write or the encouraging thing you say in the hall may mean even more to them. So think about your words, each one. Weigh them carefully. Picture actually what they might look like when they come out of your mouth, a knife that cuts deep or an encouraging pat on the back. Remember, Paul believed our words are so important to God that he wrote about it from prison. Don't let any evil talk come out of your mouths. Say only what will help to build others up and meet their needs. Then what you say will help those who listen. Sticks and stones and wood are wood are can never hurt. Have you heard that phrase before? Oh, <laughs> I said sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Do you think that's true? I mean, I guess a word is never going to actually like break an arm or a leg, but can someone's words hurt you? I think so. How about this? Have you ever hurt somebody else with your words? I have. Why do we do that? If we follow Jesus, it's our responsibility to use our words wisely. The Apostle Paul wrote, don't let any evil talk come out of your mouths. Say only what will help to build others up and meet their needs. Then what you say will help those who listen. Our words should be helpful. We should use them to encourage people. You're doing such a great job. I'm so proud of you. We should use words to comfort. It's going to be okay. When life gives you lemons, like lemonade. And you should definitely use your words without this thing. It's not always easy to control what you say, but a good place to start is to try and think before you speak. Think, are these words helpful or hurtful? Do they build up or tear down? Take a few seconds, especially if you're mad or upset, to think before you say words that hurt. Here's the rule for life to remember today. Use your words wisely. Simple to say, not so simple to do. You're going to need God's help for sure. So, to sum up, sticks and stones are like lions, but words may also hurt. Hi, everybody! Here you go! Are you good? Huh? Huh? Huh?